Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So uh, this evening I was lying in bed and I was thinking about the energy and um, I was wondering how many of you are feeling this. So I personally am not feeling this but I've seen it around uh, others and so I thought I would talk about it because it might bring some kind of relief to you if you are going through this. So once again this is not something that everyone is experiencing. Uh, there's just a few of you and how would you differentiate or well you'll know if you're feeling this right uh, as soon as I describe what I'm talking about but basically it's a kind of feeling um, of grief or uh, a sadness or being weepy or feeling misunderstood or feeling um, um, deliberately misunderstood by those around you or feeling a victim of a certain set of circumstances that you know should be another way or in your heart you feel that it should be another way uh, or you feel that logically it should be a different way but others are misinterpreting your circumstance so it could be that or it could be simple um, not simply but it could be another form of this in terms of grief in f terms of feeling uh, a, a deep sadness uh, longing for something that cannot be. Now um, this is particularly significant at this moment because there may be others of you who feel that quite regularly or feel that all the time but this uh, this energy that I'm talking about applies very much to people who have a lot of water in their being. So over the years I, I work with energy and I'm not an astrologer I try to mention that often um, because I actually have no idea of what's going on um, in terms of the astrology and in fact I I can go online and watch some of my favorite YouTubers and find out what they're saying and seeing what they're saying and, but I haven't done that in ages because I just don't have the time to do that but um, basically what I the way in which I can tell okay or the way in which I see energy is I see it in in elements sometimes so I can see a person who has a lot of water or somebody has got a lot of fire in them and uh, so they may not be a water sign but they 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 maybe they have their moon in water or maybe they have their Venus in water or Mars um, in in water and over the years I've um, when when you know taking a look at uh, some of my clients uh, birth charts I've actually come to see that yes you know they, they do have a lot of the those elements in their in their astrological chart so it might be that you don't have any of this in your in your chart in your birth chart but uh, you just feel like you have a lot of water in you and so if you are feeling that you might be more prone to this so this is impacting more of the water energies whereas if you're an earth energy or um, yeah, if you're an earth energy, you're probably feeling fairly stable right now, fairly uh, earthed, um, fairly grounded, uh, like you have things together or you have a perspective on what's been going on. So a lot of what you would have been experiencing, uh, ha which has been turbulence or maybe uh, some kind of grief that you would have experienced, would be a little bit behind you right now. And I feel that, but if you're a water sign, you're dealing with this right now. It's been this last week, it's been these last few days, uh, it's been perhaps some, uh, Sunday and Monday that's just passed. Um, so I, I'm recording this on the 21st of October, uh, which is a Monday, and I'm talking about the energies that you would have experienced on, on the, the 19th of October, the 20th of October, today, uh, the 21st, as well as the 22nd, 23rd, you'll you'll continue to feel this until you come to a resolution. So your resolution may come in more than one way and one of the ways in which it could come about is by using some kind of remedy to, to help that. So um, uh, using like a homeopathic remedy may, may actually help you or using some kind of, um, if, you, if you're into that stuff, uh, or using some kind of um, uh, some kind of remedy to cool, to calm you down like it could be aromatherapy oils or um, you know taking a bath in Epsom salts or, or, or something like this I don't think that's just gonna do it for you but it could actually make a big difference in terms of helping you ground yourself or helping get rid of this erratic underlying unstable restless energy that's causing you to be more inclined towards this uh, feeling of grief or sadness or feeling like you've not been uh, understood well enough or that you 
uh, at an injustice here or that you're alone you might be feeling like you're alone or you don't really have people that could uh, connect with you in the way that you need to connect with and once again you might have been feeling some of these energies like about two or three weeks ago but this is like um it's almost like it's coming to a head or it's coming to a culmination now, i see this as more of, of a culmination because what you can do in this time is move beyond it so it's like certain decisions need to be made you know certain huge decisions for some of you it might be big decisions that need to be made for others it might just be uh, decisions that could be made you know just in terms of how you think about something you might decide to approach something differently you might decide that you're not going to place so much of emphasis on somebody who's missing uh, somebody or somebody who who's away a lot and then you're missing that person and so you decide no I'm not gonna I miss this person a lot and it grieves me when they're gone but what I'm going to do or the, it grieves me that they're at a distance but what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually just care for myself and think about this in a different way but maybe you just need to weep for a week or maybe you just need to get that kind of feeling outside of you and so yes so this is a very specific greeting once again and it, it applies really to water signs or to those people who are experiencing this and from my experience in the last few weeks with with clients or the last few days especially uh i found that you, it would mostly be the water signs who are experiencing this and who, who are struggling with this. Um, this is usually I get a emotional, ins um, not emotional, but like a kind of spiritual insight from from the energy, uh, either when I meditate or something like this, or, or just generally I'm like given an insight and I, I I feel like I need to share this. And this is why I do my energy forecast. But today's energy forecast is being very much from what I've seen from from others you know um so so last week I did an energy forecast as well and I talked about the the moon energy etc now I had an insight from that but I also was encouraged to do so by people who were saying please tell me about this energy and and uh, but but today is a little bit different so I'm just le letting you know how I work because most of you probably don't know how you work and and you you probably have you know very little understanding about how these where I get this information from so it's it's very much kind of feeling that I have or a, a sense that I have and sometimes I can have it um, for what's going to happen like several months down the line or several years down the line with regard to other things like planetary energies etc but you know I also get it in in uh, in tidbits with regard to smaller things like uh, a wave of energy that could be passing so what I'm talking about now may be relevant for various other people at various other stages but right now it's relevant mostly again for water signs and all for people have a lot of water in their in their being and uh, for people who are quite sensitive or quite who can be quite um, um, yeah who are easily sensitized um, or not easily sensitized and rather what am I trying to say here it's if you feel like you if you're the type of person who who doesn't like to watch like horror films or you you easily afraid or you you easily disturbed um or if you feel like you know you you miss some somebody you you kind of like can you you have your feelings very much on your on your sleeve or you kind of feel quite openly you know some people are quite reserved in the way they feel um if you feel if you're quite reserved in the way in which you feel the way in which you share your emotions this energy won't impact you so much you'll be more uh guarded so to say and but if you're somebody who feels openly and just expresses that energy quite quite um yeah quite just just openly more with love with a certain warmth and openness then you will feel like okay you know this this has kind of got me um off guard so to say and you might find yourself struggling a little bit with this so do let me know if you actually have been having any of this or you've been um or, or what's actually been going on uh and if this resonates with you i i feel like this message will resonate to just a few of you like maybe a quarter of you who may even come to this uh energy forecast but uh yes so the others okay so the earth signs specifically or people who have more earthy uh, groundedness so you might be a fire sign or air sign but you've worked through your life and you have an attitude and approach that is grounded and you allow yourself to feel rooted and you are not moved easily or you're not shaken easily you have a good foundation you have a good uh, connection okay to and so 
those people, well, I, I believe that you might be uh, experiencing some of what I've spoken to about in the previous energy forecast, where you might be actually just enjoying this this time and really being productive and really feeling like you can move ahead with, with a great um, um, like ferocity and, and you can actually move forward and bring things forward with you. It's like you, you know, there's no space of stagnation right now. It's almost like a volcanic energy. It's erupting, you know, it's like a dormant volcan volcano that's just been like erupting again. And uh, for some of for some others of you, it might be like difficult to maintain that or control that energy to be able to harness it, to be able to know how to use it, to be able to move forward with it. And so for those of you who are experiencing that part of that energy, you might find that um, it, you might be st stepping on other people's toes. You might be um, overstepping um, your responsibility or kind of, I'm struggling to find the words today, uh, but basically just like um, overextending yourself in a way where you are maybe doing a little bit too much or you're doing, uh, you're saying too much, maybe, maybe it like what you're doing can cause somebody who is a water sign or has a lot of that water energy, that sensitive energy, you might be causing them stress. Okay. So it's like, uh, like, I'm not saying that you're actually doing that, but it could work like that, right? Um, uh, because the water energy is kind of quite sensitive and you quite um, the, the energy that's rooted and, and grounded and fiery. So the earth energies, the fire energies, um, uh, also the air energy to a, some extent. If you can control your, your energy, then you are really on a good way right now and you can harness it and you can use it for great benefit. And I see the next few weeks be, being extraordinarily productive for you. In fact, I mentioned this a few uh, energy forecasts before. I think I might have talked about the energy till the end of October or something like this. I'm not really sure, but uh, I'll try and link it up here if I uh, if I um, can find that. Again, I'm sure it's on the playlist, uh, the energy forecast uh, playlist. So basically, yeah, you. I would have mentioned some of that there and you would still be in this, like no matter what's coming your way, no matter what the challenges are, you will be able to just move ahead, harness that energy, move forth with it. What you might find is that you're a bit scattered because there's so, you've got all this energy and you don't know where to move, use this energy. Okay. But if you're feeling like down, you're feeling subdued and you're feeling like, you know, you don't know, like you're feeling like a victim of your circumstance, then once again, this kind of energy, this weepy kind of energy, this will pass, all right? Don't worry about it. It's like, I think by the end of the week, it's already gotten better. It depends on the decisions that you make. It really depends on you taking yourself out of this, you finding a way to manage it by yourself, all right? So find a way to do that and, and find a way to to get beyond this and then you can also be able to harness and use some of this other energy that's coming your way now in November. All right, so I will, um, as there's a lot of things going uh, taking place between now and say mid-December in terms of how the energies are changing. So I might actually do like a weekly energy forecast. It really depends uh, on what I feel and what I think that you might need to hear. Um, once again, let me know if this video has been helpful or then just like kind of going on about nothing here. Um, I do know that, you know, some of you are experiencing this, but yeah, just let me know, you know, if you, if you just let me know who's experiencing what I'm kind of curious to see, uh, like how many of you are having this kind of weepy energy and how many of you have this kind of uncontrolled, um, fire that's, that's, you know, that's driving you at this moment. All right, so I'm wishing you all the best and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. A wonderful week ahead and until we meet again.